This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Trump tells North Korea that nuclear ICBM launch won't happen. An announcement Sunday by North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un that his nation was on the verge of testing its first-ever intercontinental ballistic missile provoked a pithy and scathing rebuke from U.S. President-elect Donald Trump. North Korea just stated that it is in the final stages of developing a nuclear weapon capable of reaching parts of the U.S., the president-elect tweeted the following morning. It won't happen. In a follow-up tweet issued immediately after, Trump slammed the rogue nation's northern neighbor, China, for its stubborn unwillingness to assist in reigning in Kim. China has been taking out massive amounts of money and wealth from the U.S. in totally one-sided trade, but won't help with North Korea, he wrote. Nice. What remained unclear was how exactly the president-elect planned to deal with the North Korean dictator's increasingly aggressive behavior. According to Tong Zhou, an associate at Carnegie Tsinghua Center for Global Policy in Beijing, merely tightening sanctions, as an example, would have little impact on the dictator's decision-making, as reported by CNN. Likewise, launching a military strike against North Korea would pose an exceptionally large risk given the nation's nuclear arsenal, however undeveloped it may be. It's not a viable option, we are way past preemption, said John Dillery. Associate Professor of Chinese Studies at Yonsei University in Seoul. North Korea is hard to punish because it has so little to lose. This is why it's different to Iran, where there was an economy integrated with Europe, a middle class that we could use as leverage. The most viable option, according to both Zhou and Hillary, was for Trump to simply sit down with the North Korean dictator and engage in a friendly chat, which Trump himself proposed during the general election as noted by Politico. Specifically, he said he would absolutely speak to Kim, adding, there's a 10% or a 20% chance that I can talk him out of those damn nukes. Liberal elitists, particularly those who preferred President Barack Obama's do-nothing approach to foreign policy, mocked him at the time for making these remarks, but apparently he was right on the money. Please share this story on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what you think about Donald Trump's pithy and stern response to North Korea's announcement. What do you think Trump is planning for North Korea? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.